Hey Red Hawks, welcome back to MHS News. I'm Mary Kennedy. And I'm Jack Quillis. This is the MHS News for Tuesday, August 29th. This is Broadcasting One and we are very excited to be the first class of the year to present MHS News. Topping our news, school is back in session. We had a great first week with all shortened days and we even got Thursday off due to the extreme heat. This is our first week with full days and we're off to a great start. There's a phrase you'll be hearing a lot about this year. Principal Dunbeck wants us to flip the switch. Sam Kiros talked to her about what that means. Flip the switch. Flip the switch is a phrase we are using this year because I think every year you need just something to remember. And sometimes like all the rules and all the things get lost. So sometimes if you remember the expression, then you'll remember some of the things that go along with it. So flip the switch is the expression. And how did that come about? Um, I think that when we are you know, the last couple of years we keep saying we've all gotten into some good habits and some not so good habits, so it's like we need a little reminder, kind of a little dust off ourselves for some of the things that should be taking place at a school. When you come here, you're at school, you're not at a concert, or you're not hanging out on a Friday night with your friends, you're actually in a school. As much as we want to have fun here, we also are here to learn, so our, our two, you know, our 8 o'clock to 2.45 should really be... Um, you guys should be aware of things like be here, we want you present at school, be on time, don't be hanging around in the hallways, make sure that you have your um, correct uniform on, um, and then really be make sure that you're mindful of being kind to each other in the hallways. and. Um, yeah, not being rude and mean, you know, like those common courtesy laws that go on that are almost like unspoken rules that we all learn in kindergarten and learn in every other grade and then sometimes during the passing period go out the window. So have you noticed a difference since this has you know, taken effect? Well, it's only a week in. You know, last year a big one for me was just say hi, and that goes with that common courtesy, and I think more people are saying hi, so I'm anticipating this to be good and positive because I want to give you guys the benefit of the doubt that you know how to do the right things, but I am noticing we mentioned specifically phones and earbuds, and we want you to be present. We want you to have face-to-face -face conversation, which is why we don't want those in your ears, and we don't want you like walking in the passing period, staring at your phones and all of that. So if you could please take them out of your ears, keep your phone in your bag during the passing period, then you are completely flipping the switch and locking it into Marist. The Mayor's pillar we will be focusing on this year is the pillar of presence. President Tucker spoke to us about how we can incorporate this pillar throughout the year. Yeah, I think it's one of the best pillars uh, from our end, Sam. Uh, we're all about family, and I think to have a strong family spirit here at Marist High School, you have to be present. That means present in conversations, present around the building, present in games, activities, clubs, whatever it is. Students present with each other, and I think there's no better way to build that family spirit than to be present. Thank you so much, Mr. Tucker. No problem. Thanks, Sam. The Marist Sportsplex is getting a workout. The new facility the school purchased in Palos Heights is up and running with practices. The varsity football team is practicing in the Sportsplex. During the hot weather last week, the team got to practice in air conditioning. Interested in playing basketball? Any girls who want to try for the team should go to the Heinz Gym tomorrow for a short meeting. Coach Chimino will be there with answers to all of your questions. Clubs are in full swing. The Broadcasting Club is having its first meeting after school. It will be in the MHS studio. The Broadcasting Club operates a live camera and runs the scoreboard during the home games at the Red and White Stadium. MHS Media is also having their very first meeting this week with their arms open for anybody interested in writing for the website. The club meets Tuesdays and Thursdays after school in room 125. They are looking for writers, the positions of TV, movies, music, or even sports. The amount of flexibility among topics allows for anybody, no matter the extent of any knowledge, to, to join this club with no problem. Now, let's head over to Philip Bartolini to update us on sports. Congratulations to the Varsity Girls Volleyball team on defeating OPRF in the championship game in the Crimson, Crimson Classic Tournament. The boys and girls golf teams are competing in matches this week. Girls Volleyball has a game away against St. Francis High School today. Also today, Girls Varsity Swimming is competing at the Illinois Tech Aquatic Center. And the Boys Soccer has a tournament in Rivas High School. 
The freshman football team beat Glenburg West 14 to six. The Marist varsity football team will take on Brother Rice this week on Friday at 6.30 at home. For what will be one of the biggest rival games in the state. Brother Rice comes off a big win versus Maine South. While the Red Hawks look to bounce back after a tough loss to Glenwood West. Come and support your Red Hawks on Friday. That's sports, now look at the weather with Liam Bowen. Hey Red Hawks, today it's going to be a great sunny summer day. Today it's a high of 82, but we have a 40% chance of rain. Storms in the late afternoon. Tonight we're going to cool off to a low 60. Tomorrow it's going to be another great day with a high of 73. But overnight we dipped, dipped to a 65. On Thursday it's a high of 79. I hope you have a great day, Red Hawks. Now back to Mary and Jack on the desk. How's your week been going? It's been great. How about you? Pretty good. That's, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching MHS News. I'm Mary Kennedy. And I'm Jack Willis. Have a great day. Fly high, Red Hawks.